Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the tech specialists here at Warmzilla. Before we start, you can get a new boiler, EV charger, or smart home technology with installation using the links down below. Please leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos such as this one. If you're a homeowner or landlord, you have several different options concerning how hot water is supplied to your property. While many opt for a gas-fueled combi boiler as their primary water heater, some choose renewables and a small minority choose an immersion heater fitted inside their hot water cylinder. You will find out what an immersion heater is, how it works, and how to use it in this video. What is an immersion heater? An immersion heater is an electric water heater that's fitted inside a domestic hot water cylinder to heat up on demand. Immersion heaters are powered by electricity and are connected up to their own power supply through an electric cable. This means you can easily switch it on or off, or fit a timer so it comes on and switches off when you want it to. Immersion heaters can either be used as your main hot water heater or as a backup water heater for your gas boiler. In this case, it's completely separate from your boiler and radiators, which means that if your central heating fails, you will still be able to have hot water coming from your shower and taps. It's a lifesaver in emergencies. So how does an immersion heater actually work then? Immersion heaters use electricity to heat water. They use an electric resistance heating element. It looks like a metal loop or a coil, like the one inside of your kettle, to heat the water inside your hot water cylinder until it reaches the designated temperature. Cold water enters your hot water cylinder at the foot of the tank and rises to the top as it's heated by the elements. The pressure that is created at the outlet of the tap is produced by the head of water, created by the height of the cold water tank in the roof space. All immersion heaters have a thermostatic control. You can set your required temperature at the thermostat, and when the water temperature reaches it, the immersion heater automatically switches off. When the temperature drops below a certain temperature, the immersion heater switches back on again. If you want to stop the water from heating during the most expensive peak electricity hours, you can set your timer to switch off then. Insulate to keep your hot water hot. Immersion heaters are often fitted in new builds, so if you have a modern immersion and hot water cylinder, it will automatically be well insulated, and therefore keep your water hot for a decent amount of time. Otherwise, check your hot water cylinder insulation is a required thickness and upgrade if you need to. While most immersion heaters use electricity from the main supply, you could choose to connect yours to some solar panels on your roof or other renewable energy sources. This can help to save on the higher cost of using an electrical heater compared with a gas boiler, as well as the environmental benefits of using renewable energy. How does a hot water cylinder work? A hot water cylinder is a place where your hot water is stored and heated before it goes to your taps and your showers. There are two main ways the water in hot water cylinders is heated. In direct hot water cylinders, an immersion heater is fitted inside to heat up the water surrounding it, making the hot water cylinder act like a giant kettle. Indirect hot water cylinders need an external device, usually a gas boiler, to supply the heat via a heat exchanger inside the cylinder. This essentially does the job of an immersion heater. It's possible to have both a heat exchanger coming from the boiler and an immersion heater coil inside your hot water cylinder meaning you have two potential methods of heating the water inside. How do I use an immersion heater? This totally depends on how you and your family or your property's tenants, if you are a landlord, use hot water in the home. And if an immersion heater is your only source of heat, you must use it wisely to make sure it doesn't become too expensive. If your household needs a constant supply of hot water at all times, for example, you may end up leaving the heater on constantly. This is a fast route to sky-high electricity bills. It's really not an efficient way to use an immersion heater, as the immersion heater would constantly be switching on to keep your hot water hot. Do you use... Do you you Do you... Why am I playing? Do you use... Do you you... Do you use hot water at similar times each day? If you only need hot water at similar times of the day, for a couple of hours in the morning and a few hours at night perhaps, you can set a timer so that your immersion heater only switches on during cheaper off-peak hours. You need to know exactly when you need hot water because immersion heaters need you to pre-plan if you don't want to have them all all the time. 
Don't want to wait for the entire tank to heat up before you take a spontaneous five minute shower. You're better off with a gas fueled combi boiler. So if you have a keen eye and an excellent memory, so you remember to turn the heater on and off without a timer, then this could be the hot water solution just for you. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and have a fantastic day.